It is a big time privilege to be joined on the summit today by Grace Beyer, who is now the all time leading scorer in NAI women's basketball history. Congratulations, Grace. I'm so thankful that you take some time with us again today. I know we visited before. And uh, now that uh, you've not only achieved so many other things along the way and being the, the leading scorer in the country, and, and it's going to wrap up that way for your fourth consecutive year, you also have hit the top of the list all-time scoring in the NAI. Think about what that means. You know, it means so much to me to be able to achieve, you know, a goal I set out to do last year and uh, to be able to be surrounded by the UHSP community and my teammates is just something special. UHSP won 80 to 68 over Hannibal LaGrange in the regular season finale. And I want to make sure that we know that because there's still a little bit more basketball to be played, but the regular season finale, it's so great that you got to do it at home. I'm sure I saw some of the video there and the crowd just erupted and celebrated <laughs> you when, when it all went down, you needed only 14 points. And I have to ask you, I'm, I'm sure that you kind of know along the way, okay, well, I have five points now. I have eight points now. Uh, talk about what it was over the course of the game and when you finally hit the mark. You know, there was a little tension in the air. You know, if I'm how, when am I going to score the 14 points? If I'm going to score the 14 points, but I had so much support with everyone in the stands and my teammates that it was, it was just really special and a moment that I'll never forget. You know, it was senior night, the last home game of the season. So there was, there was a lot of emotions out there, but it was, it was just an amazing experience. Yeah, that's a big deal, too. Nice to be recognized by the, the folks in attendance for uh, what you and, and the other seniors have done over the course of the season and your career as well. The last time we had a chance to visit, we talked about the mid-range jumper. And I'm, I'm a fan of the mid-range jumper. Obviously, it's something that you do well. But you know what? When, when you beat the record, you did it with a three-pointer. And, <laughs> and it wasn't just that three-pointer. I mean, it seems like that you guys just, just went off in this game. You had six three-pointers before the, the evening was done. Samantha Matthews had seven. Elizabeth Olenak had uh, six three-pointers. You wound up with 20. Set a team record. I have to ask you, <laughs> that, was that something that you planned going into the game, wanting to shoot outside the arc, or did it just happen? Um, the other team came out in a zone, and we just kind of started shooting really well in the beginning, so we just kind of stuck with what was working, uh, and that was the three-point game. Well, clearly it was, and and again, <laughs> not just for you, but for the entire team. Uh, did did that give a little bit of an extra bonus that you you drained a three to get it done? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it, it's just awesome, you know. It kind of puts into perspective the amount of work that I've gotten to put in the gym and work on my shot. So just have it a three is just awesome. We're here on Midwest Sports Net with Grace Beyer, who is the all-time leading scorer now in NAI women's basketball history, currently at 3,874 points. It's a big number, and we'll mention it again in just a moment. But I, I look at that now, and from when we had a chance to visit uh, back near the beginning of the year, and it was just it, it was just six games in. So it's kind of a small sample of, of what you could do. You were averaging 34.3 points per game, and, and you think, okay, well, start of the season, can you keep up that kind of pace? Not only did you keep up that kind of pace, you, you upped it by just a tick. Now at 34.4 points per game, but I look at that and think mathematically, Grace, you did just exactly what you needed to get done. And it wasn't like you, you looked like you went out and tried too hard or tried to, to make too much happen. You were just consistent all year long. Talk about the play. You know, the big goal for me is just to make the team successful and to win as many games as possible. And, you know, that's just something that uh, I need to be consistent at scoring and kind of doing everything I can to help the team. And if I have to put up, you know, the 34 points a game to be to help this team be successful, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, clearly you've done that. So <laughs> I, I think it's great. And I, and I do think it's neat how it just it just worked out to get to happen in the in the final game of the regular season, especially at home. I, th I think that's just special and makes it even that much better. Uh, we have talked about the fact that you do spend a lot of time on the court. And as your career is winding down, I know you, you, you want to make sure you have every minute that you can. I don't know that anybody's done as well. Uh, they couldn't have done better. You're averaging 40 minutes a game. <laughs> so uh, that, that's, that's pretty cool. And I realize there were a couple of games where you, you know, had as, as low as 38, I think 37 in one, but then there were some overtime games that had mm -hmm. 45 minutes. So brings that average right back to 40.0. Talk about being on the court that long and, and what it means to just be out there. 
you know, it's special as a little girl, you always dream of being at the college level and to be able to play all 40 minutes and kind of have that impact on the team is, you know, something that I'm always going to be able to cherish and just look back on and be proud of. Well, it, it's uh, I, I know that the people are, are hopefully cherishing every moment that they have with you still on the court there. I think another thing that needs to be mentioned is the fact that not only are you the leading scorer in the country, both at the top of the career list, but also this season, again, 34.4 points a game. But maybe people don't recognize the fact that you're in the top 30 in the country in assists. So it's not just that uh, they just feed you the ball all day long. You're able to put the ball in other people's hands and make things happen as well. Talk about that part of your game. Yeah, so, you know, obviously I have some really good teammates that surround me with, you mentioned Samantha Matthews and Elizabeth Alanak already. Um, and when I, you know, I average 34 and a half almost points a game. So there's a lot of attention that I uh, attract on the on our offensive end. So, you know, when people are double, triple teaming me, I'm able to find a, an open teammate and they are capable of making shots. And and clearly they are. And, and by the way, Samantha and Elizabeth getting a lot of time too now. Mm -hmm. They as well so i'm sure that that does that help a little bit knowing that it's good there's going to be some consistency on the court while you're out there and and you, you have some some players that you know you can get the ball in their hands too yeah it makes it easier you know we we know each other's strengths and weaknesses and we know kind of how each other's plays so we uh are able to make certain passes that maybe not everyone else can make because we know where we're going to be on the court well, I, I mentioned the fact that it was the regular season finale, and so your time is starting to wind down. Every game could be the last one. I, I know that you know that already. I'm not trying to make it <laughs> so dramatic or anything like that, but mm -hmm. there is at least one more game left to be played as you all are the number four seed heading into the American Midwest Conference Tournament, which you'll be taking on Missouri Baptist, the number five seed in Columbia at Columbia College. Mm -hmm. On Friday at 7.30, so that's that's the nightcap, actually, of the quarterfinals. So hopefully it'll build up a big crowd to get to see you play at least one more time. You've split with them this year, and both of those games were on the road. The, the road team, excuse me, got the win in both of those games. So you're playing on a neutral court now. So preview this game uh, as you head into your final conference tournament. You know, it's always hard playing the same team three times because you can always make so many adjustments to what they did uh, previously. But our big thing is just really rebounding the ball and kind of doing what we do well. Um, we don't necessarily need to focus on what they do. As long as we execute on our end, we'll be okay. All right. Again, Friday at 730, Missouri Baptist and UHSP taking to the court for the American Midwest Conference quarterfinals. And Grace, just congratulations again. I appreciate you taking time with us here on Midwest Sportsnet and visiting on the summit. But uh, just from watching you, and especially this final season, getting to, to follow you and, and what you've done, it's been fun. It really has been fun, and I hope that you've just enjoyed and, and had a good time, too. I appreciate it. Thank you.